Sounds on 29th is proud to be sponsored by Rosenberg's Bagels and Delicatessen. Authentic New York City-style bagels made with local and natural ingredients. Serving gourmet smoked fishes and house-made spreads. Rosenberg's Bagels and Delicatessen, made hot and fresh all day. Hey, what up, man? Sounds on 29th would like to thank Hold Please Productions for their support. Famous Original Jay's Pizza, an authentic New York City-style slice shop located in Denver's historic Five Points. Boasting high-caliber ingredients with East Coast flavor, available by the slice or whole pie. Famous Original Jay's supports Sounds on 29th and the Colorado creative community. The following programming contains adult themes and is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to Sounds on 29th on CPT 12. I'm your host, Bree Davies. Thanks for joining me for this trip through Colorado's music and comedy scenes. Tonight, I'm honored to share with you the music of the original Ills and the comedy of Dickie Bill Wagner. Let's start with a set of chill yet energetic jams from my good friends, the original Ills. This trio is made up of brothers Benito and Emiliano Flores and lead vocalist Selena, AKA the Lady Los. Together, these musicians are able to reach back into the storied history of blues and bring it into a present day soulful context. What started as a tight-knit family two-piece became a magical trio when friendship brought Lady Los into the mix, adding another deeper dimension while keeping the kinship vibe. Sit back and take in this set from Denver's own Original Ills.
watching Sounds on 29th. I'm here with the original Ills. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm Brie. Can you introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Emiliano. I'm Selena. I'm Benito. Thank you guys for being here. That was really Thank wonderful. You. Thank you. We also had an Thank audience. You. <laughs> you had like family here. That was really cool. It was like a cool Sunday show. It was perfect. Oh, but we're watching this on a Saturday night, so we'll pretend this is Saturday. Um, so when I initially saw you guys perform it, it was just the two of you. Um, when did you come into this picture and sort of how did that happen? I'd say it was about a little over a year ago, maybe two years ago at this point. Um, they were performing at the Oriental and they were like, would you want to just perform with us like a, like a one-time thing? Like, would you try want to try your hand at getting on stage? And we got together and it just went so well and it flowed so easily. Just us being able to create together, we were like, maybe we should just keep doing this. <laughs> That's a rare... Feel like a weird thing. We're brothers, so it's really natural for us to like make music together. And when she came in, it was just like our sister. Like it's, it was the same thing. Like we didn't have to find each other. It just it just everything locked in right away. So it wasn't like because I think sometimes maybe with siblings it's hard to penetrate that connection that you have. But it seems like it worked out really well. I mean, I tried to treat it like it was sacred. That was just my approach with it because. I didn't want to be like, hey, let me in the band, or I didn't, I, I didn't, I wanted it to be more organic, and I wanted it to be more like, it's a sacred thing, their bond as brothers, to be able to make music, which is sacred too, and to approach that, I felt like I wanted to do that with respect, and that was really just the biggest thing, is just treating that with care, and like with respect, and I think that kind of helped everything else flow. It comes across too, and I think um, your harmonies together are so wonderful, it's, it just makes sense. Um, what does the songwriting process look like for you as a trio? 
I think it varies. A lot of it is very organic. Like we'll kind of get together and <clears throat> if we have material that we need to go over for a show or a performance, we'll work on that. And then it's always fun when we kind of just let it go off the cuff and just kind of see where the groove and vibe goes. And then from there, just kind of piecing it together and just taking time to be with it and think about it and then keep on writing it and constructing it each time we get together for practice. Yeah, so it's a pretty natural process, I think. Bubba tells us to just listen to each other. And we call him Bubba, so I'm sorry. I know. Emiliano, we call him, Emiliano, we call him Bubba. So. This interview is over. <laughs> <laughs> Some people watch it and be like, oh yeah, I do know that. Oh, I do know that. <laughs> I didn't but know he, his name was Emiliano. <laughs> that's his fake name. No. Um, <laughs> no, nah, but he, you know, like I think he encourages us to listen to each other. And so when we go in, and did you, I think you coined the realm too. Did you coin I the realm? I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did actually do too. I felt like a collaborative thing. <laughs> but we call our practice space, we call it the realm. Because you have to like give yourself to that. And you have to be able to listen, and it's not—it's not just about each one of us individually. It's about us together and how we feel each other's like minds out there. It's kind of like we're bearing our soul. Like I think that's how Benita put it. It's like you're bearing your soul, but then you're doing it in front of each other and finding a way to blend it. And so, yeah, I think him encouraging us to listen to each other, going in there. There's times he'll just start drumming, and then all of a sudden he'll just start like a little riff, and then I'll be like, "Don't stop that! Don't stop that!" And I'll be thinking something. And then I'll just try to start singing to it, or sometimes, you know, he'll come, he'll come with lyrics. It, it, it just is all organic. It's diving in the realm and giving yourself to the realm. That's so interesting too, especially because coming into this situation, brothers already making music, but it being so organic for a trio, it's, it comes across well on stage too. It's Thank kind you. of surprisingly easy for us to write songs. Like, like they just happen. Like we don't. Like, I mean, we work them out. Making it seem too easy. Well, I mean, we work it out once. The idea is down, but like sometimes it just they just come. You know? <laughs> That's amazing. So, do you guys have a record together, or sort of where are you in the process? Building, building. Well, I feel like we have like a record's worth of songs, right? Like it's we have a record's worth of songs. It's recording. Yeah, <laughs> which is a whole other process into itself. Outside, it's a different creation, you know. Um, where online can people find your music? So right now I'd say SoundCloud and Instagram where you can find us. Cool. Follow us on Facebook, but recordings in the works. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Awesome. Thank, awesome. You, Brie. Cool. thank you, Brie. Thank you. Thank you, Brie. Yay!
That was the original Ills, a Denver-rooted trio made up of family and friends. If you missed an episode of Sounds on 29th or want to check out the many musicians and comedians we've hosted over the years, you can visit cpt12.org or find CPT12 on YouTube. You can also check out Sounds on 29th on Facebook, where we have information on upcoming editions of the show along with past performances. While we're here together, I'd like to ask you to support public television. Shows like Sounds on 29th couldn't happen without viewers like you. A few dollars goes a long way for a show like this, and you can help make it happen by texting GIVE and whatever dollar amount you choose to 720-571-8881. Next up, it's a Hold Please Productions comedy break with superstar comedian Dickie Bill Wagner. On the comedy scene for almost a decade now, Dickie Bill Wagner is best known as the co-host of Funny You Should Say That, a stand-up comedy-focused show happening every Thursday on KRFC 88.9 FM, Fort Collins' own public radio station. There he hosts sets and chats with fellow local comedians. And now, a set from Dickie Bill Wagner himself, right here on Sounds on 29th. Hey everybody. All right. I'm gonna tell you about myself right now. I, uh, I'm at that age where I'm looking for new qualities in my friendships, you know? When I was younger, I liked my friends to party. Can you feel the rhythm of the night? <laughs> yeah. I like that. Now I like my friends to be CPR certified. <laughs> and I shouldn't be afraid of dying. I shouldn't be afraid because I'm Christian, but I am very afraid because I am not a good one. <laughs> yeah, God's gonna put me in that hellfire to burn off all that sin, so it's gonna be a while. <laughs> and he's gonna uh, put me on the streets of gold, smoke coming off my clothes, smelling like barbecue. <laughs> People are gonna ask, is that Dickies? <laughs> oh, you know it is, you know it is. But I worry, I worry about heaven, I do. What if it's just like here and they're going through financial difficulties too? You know, they got, they got Peter working part-time at the pearly gates to save money on benefits, you know? They've outsourced his job to India. Seriously, so when it's my turn to go to heaven, Instead of a hairy Jew asking life questions, it's gonna be an eight-armed blue dude with a big red dot in the middle of his forehead saying, welcome to heaven. My name is Jim. How may I help you? Well, I am in line. I'm in line to get into heaven. He goes, oh, this line is for reincarnation. Reincarnation makes sense. And it saves dollars. That is our new slogan. Well, reincarnation scares me, people, because I don't know what I'm going to come back as. I hope not a cow, okay? Because I could see Jim telling me, I am going to send you back as a cow. No holy cow for you, huh, fat boy? Double whoppers and cheese, karma. <laughs> karma is a bitch, isn't it? It is if I have to come back as a cow. But I wanted to get in heaven. What's up? So sorry, Peter works Tuesdays and Fridays. Better luck next time, champ, huh? <laughs> oh. I tell you what, though. Seriously, if I come back as a cow, I hope I live in California. Happy cows come from California. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> Pissed off cows come from New Jersey. You know, they're standing in the grass chewing cud. And they're very angry because they don't like cud. <laughs> They don't. And if you stand too close to a Jersey cow, it'll stand right up and say, yo, suck on this, huh? You want an udder? How about the udder udder? I got an udder for your brother and your mother. Moo. That's what I worry about. It keeps me up at night, people, I'm telling you. But I'll tell you a nice thing that happened. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a rock and roll star because I like to play the music loud. My favorite band, Kiss, used to say, if it's too loud, you're too old. And now they say, what? I can't hear you. I can't hear you at all. And the closest I got to becoming a rock and roll star was playing lead guitar in the church worship band when I was 16. And I was very enthusiastic. Every time the pastor would say, praise the Lord, I'd shout, hell yeah! And they didn't like it when I showed up Sunday in black spandex. 
big old box of pyrotechnics, you know? It's a glorious day, everybody showed up, even the fire department. <laughs> all that rock and roll all night and party every day leaves zero time for employment. I had a job at a paint store and a man walked in and ordered five gallons of Estate Tan. I thought he said five gallons of Satan. <laughs> Cool. I mixed him up a batch of color number 666. He complained. I got fired because he said his house looked like hell. I had an audition this morning for a sweet gig. Sweet gig as a game show host on Telemundo. I got right up there and said, Mrs. Rodriguez, answer the next question correctly and you move on to the bonus round for two chances to win a 2014 Ford Fiesta. Next, grande deal. Somebody said, Senor Dickie Bill? I said, we? Oui. They said, Espanol, por favor. Okay, between my free introduction to Spanish CD from Rosetta Stone, watching Dora the Explorer, I think I can do it. I got up and said, Senor Rodriguez, donde esta el baño? Dos cervezas, por favor. Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> I know, I know. You should have seen the look on their faces. They ask me, I think I nailed it. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I'm Dickie Bill. Hi, we are the original Ills, and you are listening to The Sounds on 29th. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Sounds on 29th here on CPT 12. 
Special thanks to the Original Ills and Dickie Bill Wagner for stopping by and performing for us. If you're a musician from Colorado and have music videos you want to share with our viewers through the beauty of public television, please send them to us via soundson 29th at cpt12.org for consideration. Special thanks to our sponsors, Hold Please Productions, Rosenberg's Bagels and Delicatessen, and Famous Original Jay's Pizza for help making this show happen. I'm your host, Bree Davies. See you here every Saturday night at 9 o'clock for more local music and comedy right here on CPT 12, Sounds on 29th.